Hello everyone. Do you like oranges? Oranges is nutritious but it's important to limit your consumption because of its high sugar content. So, today I would like to explain about orange life cycle. So, let's get started. Life cycle of oranges. This video contains introduction, life cycle of oranges, life cycle impact assessment, how to reduce the environmental impact and also the conclusion. For the introduction, orange juice is a juice made from squeezing orange and is grown on Caninia which is a Brazilian island off the coast of Sao Paulo. The first orange juice are thought to have been introduced to Florida then known as La Florida. Brazil produced the most citrus at roughly 24%. And second and third are China and India, when which together account for 20% of the global population of 7.8 billion. The Florida is the world's second largest orange juice producer. The use of life cycle assessment in orange juice production is then help identify and quantify the environmental effect associated with the production of orange juice and it was a credit to gain. So, for the market of orange juice, did you know commonly orange juice marketed in tree form as a frozen concentrate because Liquid, liquid and single strength and the popularity of orange juice increased with the de development of the commercial orange juice industry in late 90 and 20. The current worldwide market more than 2.3 billion dollar be with the biggest area being the United States followed by Canada, Western Europe and Japan. So, who made the first orange juice? Did you know that Albert Lasker is the man behind the invention of freshly squeezed orange juice? It all started in 1916 when the California Fruit Grover Exchange was stuck in a dilemma of what to do with the oasis orange. They hired Albert Lasker who was working in the advertisement industry to help them get rid of the extra. Lasker changed the company name to Sunkist and marketed a glass of oranges made from two to three oranges to the public. Life cycle of oranges. To make the oranges, we need the raw material which is orange, water, sugar, primarily sucrose, fructose and glucose, organic acid which is primarily citric, malic and tartaric, and flavor compound including various ester, alcohol, ketones, lactones, and hydrocarbon. Preservatives such as sulfur dioxide or sodium benzoate, ascorbic acid, alpha tocopherol, eta BHA or BHT, corn syrup, dextrose, honey, or even artificial sweetener and citric acid. And for the manufacturer, the first is orange selection and storage. The staff need to choose those orange without bitter taste and remove those damaged or unqualified fruit. And for the orange cleaning, it need to add 1 and 2% sodium hydroxide and disinfectant to the water tank uh, and then dip the orange in water for a while and rinse the orange with roller brush and then the last one is spray the orange with chlorinated water with 10 anti 30 milligram per liter and then spray the orange with clean water. And for the extraction, the orange cut in half before the juice is removed. The fruit are sliced as they pass by a stationary knife and the half are then picked up by rubber section cut and move again plastic rotated rimmer. The rotating rimmer express the juice as the orange half travel around the conveyor line. And for the filtration, the extracted 
oranges contain success for that solid so with the filtration it can remove the larger suspended particle with no damage to the color flavor and also the taste and for the blending and sugaring blend and add sugar to adjust the ratio of sugar and acid can improve the orange juice taste and make it meet customer preference the best ratio of sugar and acid is acid between 30 and 50 or it will lose the original flavor of orange juice and for the gas the gassy is the oxygen nitrogen and carbon dioxide dioxide contained in fruit cell we dissolve in orange juice processing so we need to remove the excess oxygen and for homogenization additional process to make cloudy orange juice really for the spec in glass bottle and for the pasteurization it can laminate the spoilage organism in orange juice and facilitate the enzyme that can cause chemical change and for the filling and cooling it pump into the charging basket and fill into the can and for the packaging there are four types of orange juice package based on the material used which is cotton, plastic, bottle, glass bottle or punch and for the distribution the orange juice will send to the retailer and for the consumer use uh, it was higher in antioxidant that may have protect chronic conditions such as heart disease, cancer, and diabetes. The second one is it may help prevent kidney stone. Kidney stone are small mineral deposits that accumulate in kidney, often causing symptoms like several pain, nausea, or blood in urine. And for the end of life, which is post-consumer, the retailer can return the primary packaging of the product previously purchased to receive a new orange juice. And for the recycle, the inner packing with recycling is generating with energy recovery. And for the dispo, orange juice can last for several months, even up to a year, as long as the package remains unopened and is stored in a cool, dry place away from the direct sunlight. And for the life cycle impact assessment, which is for production, it takes about 1,000 orange to produce 1 ton of orange juice. And for the water footprint, it takes 1,080 liters of water to produce 1 kilogram of orange juice, uh, which is uh, 122 gallon of water to produce 1 pound of orange juice. And for the carbon footprint, it moderate higher, which is 7.97 carbon dioxide equivalent to produce 1 kilogram or 2.2 pound of processed frozen orange juice. And the packaging material used in the production of orange juice, such as plastic bottle and cardboard box, can generate solid waste that contribute to lengthy stay and can take 100 of years to decompose. And for the consumption, the statistics depict the per capita consumption of orange juice in the United States from 2000 to 2021. In 2020, the U.S. consumption of orange juice amounted to about 2.19 gallon per capita. And how to reduce the environmental impact? The environmental impact can reduce by some company adopting more sustainable practice such as using renewable energy source, optimizing the transportation road and reducing packaging waste. It also can make more environmentally conscious by choosing organic or locally sourced orange juice, reducing uh, their overall consumption and recycling or properly disposing of packaging waste. And using the entire orange, including the peel of composting waste, and using eco friendly packaging such as recycled material or biodegradable plastic, and implementing energy efficient technology such as solar power. So, for the conclusion, it need to correct harvest, which is picked at the right time to ensure the best quality of orange and effective pasteurization. Pasteurization can help key bacteria and other microbes that can spoil orange juice. 
proper pasteurization technique can help extend the shelf life of juice. That's all from me. Thank you.